Hi everybody, I'm Tim from Trout and Feather and we have a special guest tire for this fly tying tutorial. If you follow social media at all, I guarantee you probably know already about Mr. Josh Miller. Josh, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. You got it. So everyone stay tuned, we'll be right back with a great pattern. Well, once again, thank you everyone for watching this video. And um, before we get into this pattern, I first wanna kind of make everyone aware, if you don't already know this, Josh has qualified and he has actually made the Fly Fishing Team USA, which is just awesome. So congratulations with that. Thanks, sir. Um, Josh, for starters, how excited were you to make the team? Uh, I was pretty excited, yeah. It was kind of a shock when it, you know, all that hard work paid off, but it's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, that, that's pretty awesome. I know many of us from like the fly fishing, fly tying perspective, there's always those next tiers that we always want to get to. Yeah. And I know that's one that so many people really aspire to do. I know it's one that the majority of us, if you're anything like me, we probably don't have any chance of ever doing anything at that level. So it really means a lot. And for those people out there could be younger, older, experienced, less experienced, what advice do you have for them about trying to do something like that on that competitive level? Sure, uh, advice is, it takes a lot, of, a lot of time on the water. Um, it's great to have good mentors. I've had a great team that has mentored me through a lot of stuff and um, just having good friends that support you and a good family also helps too. Cool. You know, so right, cool. to have it, but yeah, it's great. All right, good. So for any of you thinking about doing it, by all means, definitely do so. If you want to contact me, um, I can reach out to Josh if you have any questions for him regarding that. But definitely, we wish you the best of luck in everything you, regarding the team. Thank you. Well, let's shift forward a little bit. Let's talk a, a, about this pattern before we start tying. The name of this pattern is an absolutely great one. It's called the Beach Body Stone. For those of you newer to fly tying and fly fishing, it's gonna represent a stone fly. Now, I'm gonna kind of pick Josh's brains a little bit about this fly before we tie it. So Josh, the name Beach Body Stone, why that name with this pattern? Um, well, it, it's a thin profile stone fly. Um, a lot of the stone flies that I've fished and have, we've fished in the past are a little, a little bulkier. And the key to this fly when I kind of developed it was keeping a thin profile so I can sink it a little faster okay. with a little less weight in the fly. Okay. All right, cool. Well, I guess all of you are probably dying to um, see how this fly is tied. So we're going to tie this now. Then I'm going to keep Josh here and we're going to talk a little bit more after the tying and we'll tell you a little bit how to fish this pattern too. So kind of hold on, we'll adjust things here and tie this beach body stone. All right, Josh, why don't you kind of take us through your beach body stone? Okay, so the hook that we're going to tie this on is the Sabre 7230, and this is in a size 8. Okay. I have a tungsten silver bead on here, and it's a 3.5 millimeter, and I have 15 wraps of 015 lead already pre wrapped on the hook. All right. I'm curious, 15, is that like a specific number, or you're just trying to get around there? Um, so when I build up the, the, the um, abdomen of my fly and the thorax, it kind of helps, it's like the perfect length to uh, build up the, the, with the wing case area. Perfect, okay, thread. So the thread I'm gonna use on this is the uh, Uni Thread 6 odd in black. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get my, my, my leg material, which is, it's a silicone rubber, real similar to uh, Life Flex. Okay. And I'm gonna tie them in on both either side, I do my first one on the, the far side, all the way up to the lead, just to maintain that body shape. And I do one on the near side. So you're first, because it's tough to tell, you're on the side away from the camera right now? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, so the trick to this is I, I hold it open with my fingers when I come back, and it just makes, helps that to Y out real nice. Mm -hmm. so I cut them about, about as, just about as long as my body. Okay, so my, my body material on this is gonna be um, scud back material. I tie it in right behind the lead. Do you, um, whenever you use this, this scud back material, do you trim it down at all or do you use it in the length and the width that it comes? No, I use it in the length and the width it comes. Okay, so I'm gonna palmer it the same way I wrap my thread. It gives it just a little bit of segments mm -hmm. with that black. Jeez, nice and slender. Yeah, nice and slender, yeah. Mm 
Okay, I'm going to get my mixture of, I'm using um, Ice WV in purple and black. I'm doing a 50-50 mixture. Okay, before you tie it on, will you kind of show that mixture kind of right in front of the flies, uh, maybe the bead, just so guys can kind of get an idea of what it's looking like? Yes. So if you look through that, it's just a, it looks like a UV purple and a UV black mixture that Josh just kind of put together. Uh, he did it real quick. Um, he's going for around a 50-50 ratio with that stuff. So I'm going to put my set of legs in the front here. First one I do is on the far side of the hook towards the camera. Mm -hmm. And then I wrap my long tag around to the near side. So I can kind of get all four legs in, in one quick yeah, swoop here. Very smart. So the key to all my, uh, the key to the patterns I tie is just being efficient, using as little material as you can just so I can, you know, make material go far and um, just be just fast about the patterns okay. I tie. And while you're watching Josh getting pretty close to finishing this fly, I'll tell you that prior to us tying this, he decided to crank a few out and they were fast. I'm telling you, he was cranking these out and his comment was, Tim, those were slow. So if you guys, just to get an idea, he's kind of slowed down for the, the purpose of this video, but he is definitely a fast tire. So kind of keep all that stuff in mind whenever you're tying yours. This is a fishing fly. There's no doubt about it. So I'm going to try to tie those, cut these legs about the same length as I did my, my tail. Mm -hmm. And I love it. That's the same piece of material you use for the body. You're using it for the, the scud back as well. Yep. For that wing piece. case, just really smart. Just for just for efficiency and speed. Just a little stretch, a little cut real tight. Mm -hmm. and a couple, just a few wraps, I'll smash that down, and get in there real nice with the whip finish. Real nice and simple. Really nice. I want to get, get this one leg the right size there. Mm -hmm. Then I get um, a little Velcro and just pick it we'll out. We'll just pick that out. Yeah. Well, give us a quick 360 of the fly. Jeez, great view. Man, Josh, very nice, clean pattern, just very quick. And to me, whenever I first look at those legs, they look a hair long. And you like them that long? I do like them long, yeah. I like them just without all that... that that movement in the water, just they really bounce. Ah, yeah. uh, that is awesome. Yep. All right, well, let's uh, kind of change this camera angle and we'll talk a little bit more about this pattern. All right, the Beach Body Stone. Aside from having just a killer name, this is one of those flies that's simple to tie and belongs in your box. It just looks deadly. Josh, uh, nice job creating this one. So now let's kind of stick on that fly tying perspective. And I know so many of my viewers love to just tinker with their patterns, just make slight modifications to them. Are there any changes that you would suggest for the viewers out there to consider with this one? Uh, sure. Instead of using that, um, the black scud back for the body, you can uh, change it to yellow, like, like for a golden stone, mm -hmm. um, and you can change the dubbing color as well. All right. That sounds great. The one thing we want to mention is, think about the hook shank. We tie this on a longer shanked hook. Whatever the natural stone fly length is in your area, you may want to adjust that hook accordingly. If you don't know or you can't get your hands on some stone flies, maybe call your local fly shop and I'm sure they'd be able to help you out. Let's now kind of shift gears a hair. Uh, something I want to know more about. How do you fish this? What types of water? What can you tell me about it? Well, well with this stone, I like to fish it in more so pocket water, a little okay. faster pockets. Um, uh, with that thin profile, it helps get it down in that fast water. Okay. Do you fish it with other patterns or by itself? Uh, w in that situation, I like to fish it by itself. All right, great. How about split shot? Um, well, you know, with the, the lead we put under that fly and the tungsten bead, I don't use any split shots when I fish it. Okay. And I know in fly fishing, the notion of strike indicators is such a big thing. 
What type of indicators, if any, do you use with this? Well, I like to use the, uh, the inline ciders when I fish this pattern. Yeah, that sounds great. So I get, he gave us some nice little tips on fishing this beach body stone. So without a doubt, go out there, tie a few of these, um, see how it fishes. If you modify it all, kind of let us know. Post that down below in the comment section because we would love to hear about the changes that you're making to this pattern. Well, with all that said, I know um, so many of you would probably want to reach out to Josh. I can tell you if you don't already know, he is like a social media giant. Uh, what's the best way for people to follow or reach out to you? Well, um, you can follow me on Instagram with my name, Josh Miller, or my Instagram name, Josh PGH. If you use Instagram, uh, by all means, check out uh, one of Josh's hashtags. It's probably my favorite on Instagram. It's hashtag trout yeah. In fact, just pause the video right now. Just go, go check out some of those picks and then come back. We'll wait. All right, good. Was I, was I telling you the truth? Because you have some awesome fish on there. Nice job. You're welcome, man. And if you don't have Instagram, just check it out just for that reason alone and, and follow Josh. The one thing I do want to point out, aside from making Fly Fishing Team USA, which is just incredible, there are some other credentials that Josh has that I want to point out to all of you. Uh, for starters, he is an Orvis signature tire. Uh, what that means is Orvis has picked him up and they're going to be carrying some of his own creations very soon. When are those coming out? Uh, they'll be out at 2017 in the spring. Perfect. So you'll be able to check those out at orvis.com and through um, maybe your local Orvis fly shop. I'm hoping to get Josh back on this channel so we can get him tie those creations as well because I've seen one of them. I know they're in, in production right now. It looks awesome. I mean, these are flies you're going to want to have in your box. Also, if you're in the Western Pennsylvania area, Josh works at a local fly shop called International Angler just outside of Pittsburgh. Uh, by all means, stop in there, buy some stuff, and say hi to Josh. Well, with all that said, thank you so much for viewing this fly tying tutorial on the Beachbody Stone. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below in the comments section, or you can email me at tcamisa at gmail.com. If you have any questions for Josh, you can check him out on Instagram, or you can email me, and I will forward all that stuff to him. If you want to watch more of these fly tying and fly fishing tutorials, you can check out my website, which is troutandfeather.com. I also have a Facebook and an Instagram account linked under that trout and feather heading. My Facebook page consists of more articles and some pictures and some links to videos, whereas Instagram is more just some quick pictures and behind the scenes shots of these types of tutorials. Well, once again, Josh, thank you so much for being on this show. Thank all of you for watching this. And until next time, guys, we'll see you soon.